them. Now that they are in positions of power, they do not like the free speech that we are offering up as true conservatives. And Nick, here he comes. you're knocking it out of the park here. I want you to continue. But I totally agree with you that I don't care what somebody says. They have a right to free speech. And what the establishment really fears is power. They fear human action that has that electric spark. You've got that. And they're scared of you. And no matter what they do, they can't suppress you. Because I can go on air and talk about America and freedom and fighting radical Islam. And I see the headlines. Nazi Alex Jones. Because that's all the left got is to say somebody trying to promote freedom as a Nazi. When the Nazis are a bunch of losers, 70-something years ago got their ass kicked. And so they just, you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi. I'm like, no, I'm an American, I'm a capitalist, I'm a freedom lover, and I'm not going to bow down to you. And so I think that's why we can talk about it all day, Nick Fuentes, how they do this, but no one buys it anymore. Trump was called an anti-Semite. Uh, so was Senator Cruz by the head of the ADL. You know, they're pro-Israel. They want to use that, use that as a tool of control. I don't think it has power. And I think you should tell, I think you should tell the leftists that their race baiting has no more power. That's right. So true, so true. And then that's exactly right. As Alex said, it is about control. I, I guess I'll wrap it up here. I'm gonna No, don't wrap it up. Play it off. I just want to say this. This is a good guy right here. He's not a bad guy. Hey, thanks. No, he stays so short. He just calls me. Hey, thank so, you. So hey, I'm like, I got <laughs> No, I don't have a Napoleonic complex. But, but seriously, Nick Fuentes said he'll agree with. He's popular. Popular. So the system wants to ban him like a race car driver that keeps winning races. That's all. This guy's not a racist. He doesn't hate black people or white people or gay people. Anybody. He just wants to have his own say. And you know what? I'm a confident man. Hey, buddy. I say in the market ideas, say in the market ideas, you get to have a run at it. So that makes us all stronger. But they call him a white supremacist all over the news. And then the ADL and Southern Property Law Center fund white supremacist compounds with terrorists with bombs. I, I studied it. Ready to blow up black communities and create war, but they can't ever find white people to join. That's the good news. The truth is, humanity loves humanity. We want to come together. We want to be strong. We want to build a human future. And people that try to silence speech are the enemy. Because I'm smart enough, I'm smart enough, somebody said, when somebody tells me, somebody tells me, I'm not supposed to hear what somebody said, that's when I start getting suspicious. Yeah. So, Nick, you're a great speaker. Five more minutes, get in the hell, got the next speaker coming up. All right, thanks. So, in conclusion, was that, was that five? <laughs> I, I, no, but it's true. It's not that we're against the third world populations. It's they're being weaponized against us. So he's gone like three times longer. So the interviewer's going to say, I, I censored Nick Fuentes. I did not. I actually extended him. They're going to kick us out of here in like 30 minutes. we got like five more speakers. We just got rid of the whole question and answer conference. But it's true. It's not that anybody's bad. It's that the globalists are weaponizing them. Everybody. So on one last, one last thing. Thesis statement. We as conservatives who are in favor of America first, whatever our differences, we will either hang together or we will most surely hang separately. That's the most important thing. Thank you. And now, and now, and now we have Gavin McGinnis. Gavin McGinnis, founder of Vice. Absolutely. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, two, two. I'm almost done. I promise. Uh, oh, you're good. Two. They're gonna kick us out here at ten. We got a bunch of those speakers. You kick an ass, man. Right, gotcha. I, I love you. I had you on the show. You're awesome. All right. Uh, guy. All right. Look. Um, 
A few more things we should be thinking about as conservatives, and then I'm done. Pronatal policies, student debt, canceling that is one of them, by the way. Uh, actually dismantling the administrative state would be another uh, by remote work nationalism. Let's send all the people home from Washington, D.C., let them work from home. Uh, and ending the forever wars in the Middle East, obviously. I'm tired of paying for these. What's the objective? How long are we going to be there? Uh, and how much money is it going to cost? Peter Brosky, you kicked ass. Good to hear, brother. Appreciate you, man. All right, more folks are coming in. And we love you being here. But I want to say something, and I agree with what he's saying about the numbers. He's right. The globalists have bet on the third world that they've exploited and enslaved to bring in as leftists who the Democrats skim off the top and control them as a permanent underclass. We love people from India, Mexico, Eastern Europe, wherever. But they're being used as a tool to destroy our American republic. And so we have a right. Water is a wonderful thing. But if a dam breaks and floods your town, it's a bad thing. And so we love our fellow humans. We want a Promian future. But we, he's right. The globalists are using uncontrolled immigration as a weapon, as a giant sucking sound, like the late great patriot from Texas, Ross Perot, said, to lower our wages. And we see it as a weapon, and we resist it. Yeah!